I am Olympia Lapointe, and I love science. Now, I may be young, but I was a rocket scientist for nearly 10 years. I used mathematics and science to calculate the probability of catastrophic explosions within space flight. My epiphany came one day as I was sitting in the mission control support room. I looked to the left and I looked to the right and I realized I was the youngest person there. There was a shortage of Americans going into math and science fields, either because they were too scared of it or didn't understand it. As a result, I am here today to show the world how easy, exciting, and beautiful science can be. Because it's through the creative problem solving skills found in mathematics and science that we as a world can create the solutions for our future. Now are you ready? Come on, let me show you how exciting science can be. The light bulb, the cell phone, the TV screen that you're looking at me on, they were all invented by an inventor. So the question is, how do these ideas come about? Today, we're going to find out how to use mathematics, science, technology, and nature in a prism game storming game to create inventions. Come with me. I'll show you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you know how fun inventions can be? I am here today with Dr. Dale Deerdorf. Dr. Dale Deerdorf is going to tell us a little bit about PRISM game storming, a process that allows people to invent great ideas. Hi, Olympia. How are you? Great, and you? I'm doing well. It's so good to see you. You too. It's been a long time. I know. Now, you worked for an aerospace company for over 20 years and you saw inventions there. What did you see? Well, you see a little bit of everything. You see little inventions that are made, tweaks to processes, mm -hmm. all the way up to things that are revolutionary, radical. Ah, now that's, that's amazing. And there was a lot of people that worked there. And in your writing, you talk a lot about synergy. What exactly is that in regards to inventions? Right. Synergy, and great question. Synergy is going to be where you get more than what you thought you were going to get. And by that I mean, let's take a math question. 1 plus 1 equals 3. Well, when the two people, 1 plus 1, are working together, their output is more productive than if they were working independently. But if they argue, 1 plus 1 could equal 0. You could get nothing. Now, that's amazing. And you're center, the Rocky Peak Leadership Center, you specialize in facilitating a game called Prism Game Storming. Tell us a little bit more about what this game does. Well, it lets you come up with new ideas, revolutionary ideas, or little ones, depending on what you want, mm -hmm. in the format of a game. You start with a quest, mm -hmm. and then once you've got that quest identified, you come and you create a mirror image of the quest, which is kind of what the real world is like. And then you take those real world things you want to change, and that's what you focus on. So this game here deals with your end result, what you want. And so you work backwards in a sense to identify exactly the solution that you want. And you have three different categories of that solution, right? That's correct. We break them down into what are called cheap, simple, and beautiful ideas. So you create a story around all of the ideas in those three phases. Wonderful. Now, this, this game uses science technology, mathematics, and nature to create its solutions. What are some of the tips that you would give young inventors today? Well, number one, have no fear. I mean, go off and create any ideas. You're going to revolutionize the world for us. Mm -hmm. But find a process, learn the process, practice, 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 and go off and have fun. It should be about fun. Ah, there you have it. Fun, fun. Who knew inventing great ideas could be so much fun? I first discovered science when I was six years old. I took a field trip to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and we saw the mission control room. And when I saw the mission control room at that moment, I knew in the future I wanted to be a rocket scientist too. I love math and science because it's the one set of subjects that I failed at that I became great at. I realized that the creative problem solving skills found in math and science could be used anywhere. And as long as I could do math problems, I could do anything I set my mind to. Oh my goodness, 
my gosh, the craziest experience I ever had with my job. Do you know what? It was the 4th of July. It was the 4th of July weekend. The space shuttle was about to launch and we almost did launch. You know why? There was a cloud in the way. Now you wouldn't think that that would be something major, but at the top of the cloud there's ice and the space shuttle, if it were to go through the ice cloud, would explode. And so we were waiting seconds, seconds, seconds before it finally launched and the cloud moved and we were able to launch and that was the best 4th of July I ever had. My ultimate goal is to help you, America, see how beautiful, useful, and exciting science can be.